Welcome back to Motivation and Motion, Season 8, Episode 17. Let's take a look at the soul. The soul is going to be one of those aspects of our life and our mind that we might not be paying true attention to. We might be moving along with the flow, the ebb and flow of life. And when we finally realize that life is fleeting, we try to take action. But yet our soul is heavy from all the pain and all the avoidance of what you were truly meant to do and meant to accomplish in your life. There's a way to rekindle the fire that's within you, to light back the paths that are guiding you to your true destination. You have to begin to look down deep inside of you. You can call it your soul, you can call it your subconscious or your unconscious. Understand it's your mind at work. The true version of yourself clawing to get out. Do not leave unresolved problems for tomorrow when they demand your action today. We must take action when we least feel like it. We must begin to be more proactive in our days and we must push past the insecurities we hold, the doubt, the fears, and avoid procrastination that is stopping us and slowing us down from doing the things that we truly want to do. But just because you want to do something, it doesn't mean you're going to get the energy to do it. It doesn't mean you're going to give yourself the mindset to do it. But I will tell you that when you finally decide to stop doing the things that are stopping you in life, from reaching deep down within you and fulfilling that desire that you have, it's going to be a realization that the time that you have wasted on the insignificant things, maybe watching movies, maybe being on your TV or your phone, you might realize that life is not comprised of that. Life should be comprised of your mission henceforth. And so that mission that you give yourself is going to be one that you can be true to. As long as you aim toward it each and every day, you're going to be in a better position. And that position is going to lead you to reach new standings in life. New plateaus are going to be reached and you can break through the barriers that is your mind. Your mind can be your best friend and it can also be your worst nemesis. So you get to decide what that mind is going to be telling you. And the best way I have found for your mind to become clear is to get clear with your soul. What type of morality are you going to give yourself? What type of rules are you going to set for yourself? What type of determination, discipline, and habits you're going to instill in your day? And it might seem that these insignificant things are going to add up to the big things in life. Life is not about a quick fix. It's not about getting everything you want at any moment in time. It's about understanding that you get to make a change today. As long as you have the power within you to make that change, why not make it? Why not dare defy the comfort that's being taunted right in front of you? Because that's what's stopping many people from truly reaching their dreams and their goals and their aspirations in life. The soul understands what it wants, but yet the mind is not going to spark the action. Now that we understand a little bit more about mindset, we can begin to do the soul work that is necessary for us to realize that we are the people that must take the actions. What's stopping you today is you.